The U.S. and EU joining forces with the African Development Bank and the Africa Finance Corporation. Through an agreement, they've set out plans to develop the Lobito Corridor and the Zambia Lobito Railway together. Now, they'll form a link across the mineral belts of Angola, the Democratic Republic of Congo and Zambia. The projects are to be carried out under the auspices of a G7 initiative called the Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment. Here's CGTN's Deji Badamosi bringing us up to speed. Since it was formally launched in 2013, China's Belt and Road Initiative has been a game changer in Africa's infrastructure landscape. Through the BRI, railways, roads, bridges, schools, airports and several other projects have been constructed across Africa. The Partnership for Global Infrastructure and Investment, or PGI for short, is the U.S. and G7 similar plan. Through the PGI, the G7 plans to invest around $600 billion over a five-year period until 2027 to close the infrastructure gaps in emerging economies around the world. We have, as the U.S. government, President Biden, committed to make sure that we deploy and leverage $200 billion of those $600 billion. In Africa, the G7's PGI has zeroed in on the Benguela Railway, also known as the Lobito Corridor, which connects Angola and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The U.S. and their European partners have committed to provide loan assistance for the refurbishment of the rail line and the construction of a Greenfield Railway line linking the Lobito Corridor to copper mining sites in Zambia. This is a really important set of infrastructure projects that we think not only help support regional trade and connectivity to, to the West, but also that allows us to invest in communities that are operating, living all along those routes um, in multiple different ways. The three African governments involved have since signed an MOU with the U.S., the EU, as well as the Africa Development Bank and the Africa Finance Corporation. Feasibility study on the Greenfield Railway line to link Zambia is expected to begin by the end of the year. The starting point is that this will benefit Africa. And as it benefits Africa, I will still give the credit to China. China's success and uh, 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 sincerity in relating with Africa on the FOCAC platform and recently in addition on the Belt and Road Initiative is what is forcing <clears throat> America and the rest to make a move towards Africa. China has indeed helped to turn around the infrastructure of many African countries in the last decade. The West had literally sat on the sidelines for a long time, but it's now decided to step into the fray. If the G7 wants to copy China. They should copy them by also manufacturing in Africa like China does. It's very important. It wouldn't gain, uh, add much value or create the, the value chain. If they just come, go to a copper mine, go to a lithium mine, go to whatever mine, take the mineral resources, put them on the train because I built a railway line and ship them to the shores of Angola and move them out of Africa. That would be a recolonization. And I wish that no African leader should take it, especially those three countries that would be involved in the Lobito Corridor. There's no timeline yet for the completion of the Lobito Corridor project, but to underscore its commitment to the initiative, the United States has announced it is deploying a billion dollars for new solar development, internet connectivity and others in Angola. So somehow, the United States and the EU seem to have woken from their long slumber on investing in Africa's infrastructure. Deji Badimasi, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.